my lovely peeps welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi how are you if you're coming back thank you so much for coming back please ignore that sound it's the cat's bells jingling so if you hear it through the video i'm very sorry so today i'm going to be debunking five myths about bisexuality now i don't really talk about bisexuality on this channel but it is bi visibility month and i thought why not as someone who is by myself i figured i should talk about it a little bit more on this channel and because it is bi awareness month i thought this was the perfect time to do it. There are a lot of misconceptions and overall hate for the bi community so I figured let's get into some of the most common myths and misconceptions about them and debunk them so people know that bisexuality and bi romanticism is real and valid. But before we get into the video I just want to remind you to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you know whenever I put out new LGBTQ plus content. I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year so every single sub can counts in building this wonderfully queer community. And with that, let's get into the video. The first myth about bisexuality is that it's just a phase. One of the most persistent stereotypes about being bi is the idea that it's not a valid sexual orientation, but rather a transitional phase. And this myth couldn't be further from the truth. Bisexuality is a very real, enduring orientation, just like being gay, lesbian, or heterosexual. It's not a pit stop on the way to some other identity. People who identify as bisexual are attracted to two or more genders and their feelings and attraction are just as real and valid as everyone else's. The second myth about bisexuals is that bisexuals are greedy or promiscuous. This stereotype suggests that people who identify as bisexual are incapable of being in monogamous relationships or always seeking multiple partners, which there's nothing bad with that. It's just not all bisexuals are like that. <laughs> in reality, someone's sexual orientation has nothing to do with their relationship style or preferences or what they do and with how many people they do it with. Bisexual people are perfectly capable of being in healthy, committed, monogamous relationships and non-monogamous ones. You can still be committed in a non-monogamous relationship just putting that out there. Just like everyone else. Having the attraction to multiple genders does not automatically mean you're going to cheat or be unfaithful, and it doesn't make you promiscuous or greedy. The third myth about being bisexual is that it's a 50-50 attraction. So this misconception about bisexuality inherently suggests that bisexual people are 50% attracted to men and 50% attracted to women, and that is not how attraction works. <laughs> Bisexuality is a very broad, wide spectrum, and the people on it can have varying degrees of attractions to different genders. Some may lean more towards one or the other, while others' experiences shift over time. It's essential to know that bisexuality can be fluid and unique to each bi person, so it's always okay to ask if the person you're asking is comfortable with answering those questions. If not, don't, don't press it. But yeah, if the bi person wants to tell you about their attraction, go for it. The fourth myth about bisexuality is that it doesn't exist, which is absolutely ridiculous. This myth is not only hurtful, but it also is extremely dismissive of all of the people who identify as bi, all of their experiences that they have had. Bisexuality is a valid sexual orientation and has been recognized by experts in the field of psychology and LGBTQ plus activists for many, many decades. Bisexual people are real, they're valid. Bisexual people know who they are and their identities are just as real and valid as anyone else's. It also can be really harmful because a lot of bisexual people get questioned about their identity all of the time and get told, oh, you're not real, you're just gay, you're just straight, you're making it up, that kind of stuff. And it just isn't helpful to anyone. Don't say these kind of things to a bi person. Bi people are real. It, it's a thing that exists. And the final myth that I'm going to be talking about today is bisexuality is just a stepping stone to being gay or lesbian. So this misconception assumes that bisexuality is just a stepping stone to figure out that you're really just gay. But in reality, so many bi folks don't see it this way because they're actually bisexual. <laughs> bisexuality is not a stepping stone for people to test out if they're gay or not. And it's not some temporary thing that this person is going through. It's essential that we respect and support people's identities, whether they're straight, gay, bi, 
lesbian, asexual, pansexual, whatever the case may be. All sexual orientations are valid and so is bisexuality. There you have it, five myths about bisexuality debunked. I'm so happy that I was able to do this during Bisexual Awareness Month and bring more attention to this wonderful orientation to let people know that it is real, it's valid, it's not a phase, you're not greedy for being bi, you are who you are and that is 100% okay. It's so crucial during awareness months like these that we stand up to these kind of stereotypes around whatever orientation we're talking about so that people can educate themselves a bit more and learn more about what the orientation actually is. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Like I said, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers and get more queer people on this channel. <laughs> I've been on conservative side of YouTube for far too long. I've been getting a lot of hate. So if y'all could please boost this to the people who actually want to see it, that would be dope. And please give your bi friend a hug this month. I'm sure they need it because I'm sure they've heard these things before. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.